Oftentimes, when a new dance is created, it happens spontaneously. Dancers are inspired by the music. Paraphrasing world-famous instructor and performer Albi Rojas, dancers are going to move according to what they hear, which in turn becomes their own interpretation of the music. This is a story about a dance that is a direct result of interpretation and style fusion. It is the story about a dance that, in its very short lifespan, has influenced many other dances and has produced several sub-styles and genres. This is a story about leaving a strong legacy. This is the story about Zouk. Zouk music started around 1979, mainly in the Caribbean islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique, and to a lesser extent, Saint Lucia and Dominica. It started as a musical blend of several Afro-Caribbean rhythms combined with American pop music, and one of its main characteristics was the use of synthesizers. The first Zouk songs were in French Antillean Creole, which is a blend of French and African languages, and it's spoken in the islands. Some historians argue that the word Zouk means dance party. However, the term comes from the Haitian Creole word Souk, which means to shake. The music gained popularity with the commercial success of the band Kassav, one of the very first Zouk bands ever created and the first superstars. It is worth mentioning that Kassav was essential to Zouk's success, for several reasons. First, all its members were very good musicians, who were inspired by several genres and were able to create an excellent blend of melodies and rhythms. Second, they made sure that all their records were well produced, but they were not afraid to experiment with new recording techniques and new technologies. This was the first time that producers marketed their music as Zouk, and they were able to tour the US and Europe, taking their unique music creation with them at the perfect time. By the early 1980s, the disco dancing craze was over, and this new music was welcomed by dancers who were looking for something new. Also, people in the French Antilles were particularly fond of Zouk, not only because it was good and fresh, but also because it was something they called theirs, and it became a national pride. Early Zouk dancers in the French Antilles used a combination of several regional dances, such as Cadence and Compa from Haiti, and Cadence Lipso, which is a fusion of Cadence Rampa and Calypso. However, Zouk dancing as we know it today, with its prominent upper body moves and circular motion, was influenced not by French Antillean dancers, but by another clique. According to acclaimed dance instructor Renata Pesana, in the early 1990s, the Lambada craze in Brazil started a decade earlier, was over. Therefore, the Lampada dancers liked the new Zouk sound and embraced it. They started dancing Lampada to Zouk music and slowly modified some steps and moves to match the music's tempo, which was slower than Lampada. This is where the most popular version of Zouk gets its wave-like circular moves its prominent body rolls and hair whips by the follows. Lambada's contribution to Zouk was so relevant that it inspired Brazilian artists to produce new Zouk songs in Portuguese, creating a new branch for this genre that many researchers call Brazilian Zouk, with both its own music and its own dance style. <laughs> 